Owning a human is a big responsibility for any cat. And if this is your first, then it's normal to be a little nervous about getting it right. Perhaps you're a kitten making your way in the world for the first time with your brand new human friend. Perhaps you spent some time at a shelter or human shop waiting for an appropriate looking human to come along. Or maybe you took pity on a stray human in the street and decided to follow them home. However they came to be in your life, in this video we're going to look at 10 top tips for training and caring for your pet human. But before we dive in, why not subscribe and join our human-loving community for more tips and tricks on how to look after your bipedal buddy. Tip 1 The most important thing when welcoming a new human into your life is to make sure that you mark them with your scent so that other cats in the area will know who they belong to. You can do this by rubbing your cheeks against their legs. Your glands will release a pheromone scent that will signal to other cats that this is your human. While you're at it, you should also be sure to familiarize yourself with their scent so that you can use it to track them down in the event that your human becomes lost or strays. Rubbing yourself against your human also provides an excellent opportunity to cover them and their clothes in shed fur. Humans, poor things, are naturally bald, so your furless friend will surely be grateful to you for lending them some of yours, even if they don't know how to properly show it. Tip 2 One of the more simple tricks your human can be taught is opening doors on command. Doors are magical portals that somehow give you access to other places, either inside or outside, when they're opened. Scientists are still unsure as to whether the other places still exist when the door is closed. To train your human go open one of these doors, you have to speak slowly and clearly. The debate is still open on whether humans are genuinely blind and deaf, or whether they're just really unobservant. But your human is unlikely to respond to body language or any noises you make outside of a specific frequency range. This rules out most normal adult forms of communication. You probably haven't meowed since you were in kitten, trying to get attention from your mum, but meowing isn't just for kittens. It also works for getting the attention of humans. Just sit by the door and meow as loud as you can. Eventually, they should get the idea. Tip 3 Humans don't have proper claws, but they do have some equivalents called fingernails and the ability to bend their paws in different ways, which allows them to scratch you in all those hard-to-reach places. Unfortunately, they're not always good about knowing where to scratch. This is where you come in. It's important to help guide your human when they're petting you. By moving your body under their paws, you can direct them to scratch you under the chin, at the base of your ears, or at that sweet spot at the base of your spine. Just be careful when showing them your tummy. Humans have poor manners, and a badly trained one may end up trying to touch you there. Tip 4 one of the best parts about human ownership is all that delicious food. But what if your human isn't buying you the food you like? Well, there's no point in trying to talk to them about it. It's not like your human can talk back after all. But you can show them that you're displeased by refusing to eat the horrible peasant food until they put something in your bowl that is more worthy of you. If you want to give your human some extra enrichment to keep them healthy and engaged, then try demanding a change of food every few weeks regardless of whether you're enjoying the current one. Hunting the supermarket shells for your next offering will help your human practice their natural foraging skills. Tip 5 Water from a dish is nice. Water sneaked from a human's cup is great. But there's nothing better than the water that pours from those magic metal waterfalls that humans are somehow able to switch on and off. Running water naturally tastes better, because as every cat knows, a running water source is more likely to be a clean water source. Even if your human cleans out your bowl regularly, you can't be too careful, can you? If you want your human to turn the magical water on for you, simply sit underneath it with your nose pointed upward and meow. For best results, try to look as pathetic as possible when you do this. Tip 6 90% of all cats will, 
at some point in their lives, fall victim to a human standing up while they're sitting on them. Scientists don't know why humans do this, but the most prominent theory is that they're just cruel and heartless. Warning signs that a human may be about to betray you utterly and rise to their feet include the sound of a phone ringing from across the room, the sound of a doorbell, the sound of screams, the sound of sirens, or the sound and smell of flames coming from the next room. Obviously, none of these are acceptable reasons for your pet to abandon you in your time of sleepiness, but knowing the signs can allow you to jump ship before the horrific happens. Fortunately, most humans know that when a cat is using them as a chair, the appropriate response is to stay sat down and wait until we're done. If your human seems to be getting restless while you're curled up in their lap, however, then a great trick is to place your paw over their wrist to hold them down. It's a common misconception that humans are physically stronger than cats, but holding them down with just one paw especially for some reason if you then gaze up at them with big eyes and meow plaintively, is often enough to keep them from rising. Tip 7 Humans are famously independent creatures, but that doesn't mean they don't need a cat to look after them, particularly when they go to the bathroom. It's a well-known fact that humans who go to the bathroom without a cat are 67% more likely to be eaten alive by the toilet monster. You know, the one that makes that awful roaring sound whenever they leave the bathroom. But insisting on going to the bathroom with your human is not just about their protection. Humans have a tendency to be clumsy. They trip over us, they step on our tails, they might even accidentally kick us. It's not their fault. It's generally accepted in scientific circles that humans lack the part of the brain responsible for a sense of physical grace. But it can make it stressful to hang around them. When your human is doing their business, however, they'll typically be sat down, making them a more comfortable height, and unable to stomp around stepping on things. The perfect time for them to express their gratitude for you scaring away the toilet monster by petting you. Tip 8. Humans have a nasty habit of climbing up on the furniture. It's not something that you can really train them out of, no matter how many times you meow at them but you can train them to understand that certain parts of the furniture are not for them. Humans like patterns. If you claim a specific spot on the couch whenever you sit there, then your human will likely learn that this is your spot and will stop trying to sit there. Your human's bed is another important piece of furniture to claim. Humans don't seem to understand that you're supposed to take short naps throughout the day. Instead, they force themselves to stay awake all day and then crash hard at night, sometimes sleeping for as long as eight hours. The good news is that right before their sleeping time is a good time to claim a spot on their bed. They'll likely be too sleepy to protest. Tip 9 It's important to remember that having a pet human isn't all fun and games. A human is not just for Catmus, after all. Sometimes, you might notice that your human seems sad or upset. You probably won't know why they feel this way, but something about their body language will let you know that there is a problem. To solve this problem, jump into your human's lap, rub your head against them, and start purring, loudly. Humans are social animals, far more so than cats, and they need physical touch to feel happy. Comforting your human is your most important duty as a cat. They may be big, dumb, clumsy, and confusing, but they're your best friend, and you'll always be there for them. To help your human become the best human they can be, why not direct them to this video on how to read cat food labels?